Most people rely on their doctors for information about diet and nutrition. But several medical school programs show that doctors get very little training on nutrition. Sometimes none at all. As I went through medical school and then I, I went through residency and I started uh, after that working on my own as a physician, uh, after a while I became kind of a little bit uh, frustrated with my inability to really, really help people. Because what I felt was happening was that um, I was uh, just basically seeing patients, asked to see them very quickly, and was really left with limited options as far as what I could do. I, I really felt what I needed to, to do with the time that I had, what I was left to do was just basically treat symptoms instead of trying to get to the root cause of the problem or, or the root cause of their disease. So it left me basically practicing, I think, the kind of medicine that uh, the majority of people are, are practicing in the U.S., which is pharmaceutical-based medicine. And, and I don't have a problem with medication. I think medications are wonderful. Medications are great. They're necessary. Uh, for a lot of people, they are really the only option. And for many people, they're a good option. But I think what we're missing is that there's something else that's out there. I was outsourcing my health to somebody else. I was coming along saying, here's some money, you fix me, I'm busy over here. And when are you gonna come up with a drug that's gonna like cure me? By using more chemicals to correct the imbalance, we're actually causing the imbalances to be even stronger. I found that people who've been on medications for a long time are developing a lot of side effects from those medications where then are causing other organs in their bodies to become diseased. Their functioning is weakening, their all overall health is weakening, their immune system is getting deficient. You really need to infuse that with something that's going to help rebuild it. So if somebody comes along and says, you know, doctor, um, I can take this patient and by doing these, these simple things, you know, changing their diet, getting them to eat a little bit differently, more plant-based, getting them to exercise a little more, do you realize that I could make this diabetes, essentially, if you were to test them again, virtually go away? And a lot of doctors in this country, some may be familiar with the idea, but a lot of them, even to this day, would still say, no, you know, I don't think that would be possible. The cause of most of our diseases and the cure is within anybody's reach who gets the knowledge. The problem is, is they have to make some change. That's a small problem. The real problem is, there's no money in doing the right thing. There's money in selling you statins and blood pressure pills and powerful arthritis drugs and laxatives and antacids. That's where the money is. So that's where the education goes. We have to shift the dollars from expensive procedures and shift it more towards education, teaching people, showing them about their disease and, and, and why it's there, and teaching them the things that they can do day in and day out that would positively impact that disease and possibly even get it certainly improved and maybe even reversed in some cases. You can expect artery disease to stabilize and reverse and the symptoms to go away. You can expect the type 2 diabetes, if it's really type 2 diabetes, to be cured 100% of the time with diet change and associated weight loss. You can expect the arthritis to improve and go away and be cured many times if they're inflammatory arthritis. The bowel problems, all the way from indigestion to constipation to colitis, you can expect a cure when you direct your attention to the cause of the problem and you fix it.